Hi all, myself Srinivas D, working as assistant professor in electrical and electronics engineering department, KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology. In our today's lecture, we are going to discuss about a numerical problem on Thevenin's theorem. So in our previous lectures, we have already gone through the what are the different theorems we have available to solve the various uh, network uh, problems and already we have gone through the statements of different uh, theorems like our superposition theorem is there and uh, Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem and Telligan's theorem and compensation theorem like we have various number of theorems are there to solve the network circuits so in our today's lecture we will see about or we will discuss about a numerical problem on Thevenin's theorem how to apply a Thevenin's theorem to a particular problem so before going to start our lecture just go back and remind yourself what is the statement of Thevenin's theorem and what is the procedure we have gone through to do the solution by using Thevenin's theorem for a particular network so I am giving you the 30 seconds of time just go back yourself and remain the statement and, and procedure of how to do the Thevenin's theorem Okay. plus minus this is one voltage source 25 ohms and this is 5 ohms resistance and this one is a 20 ohms resistance and this one is a current of 3 amperes which is entering into the circuit this is 4 ohms and these are the two terminals A and this is B. So we need to calculate V A B. That is our Thevenin's equivalent across these terminals. So what we need to calculate? We need to calculate Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So to calculate that one, so already in the problem, he has given that, <coughs> he has given that already it is open circuited. So we need to calculate V A B across A B terminals. So for that one, when this is open circuited, this 4 ohms does not any significance. So we will take it as a 0. So we will neglect these 4 ohms. Why? Because if you enter a current, that is comes here it is open circuit the current will be the zero 
so these four ohms does not have any significance so the equivalent circuit will become now <coughs> so this is i'll write wrong so now this is solution So for that one, how my equivalent circuit will become? This is one voltage source. Okay, this is a resistance of five ohms. Okay, this is another resistance. This is one current source. Why? Because we have already neglected the four ohms resistance. Why? Because it is at open circuit end. So this is I'll take V one. So this is five ohms. Okay. This is twenty ohms, and this is my twenty five ohms. Twenty five ohms. Now what we need to do to calculate VTH, so we need to write the V1. So that is, so first suppose this is as usual we take. So this is V A B. So this is four ohms. So we'll take this four ohms as zero. So now we need to calculate V1. So to calculate V1, if we apply If we apply the KVL at node V1, we will get V1 minus 25 by pi plus V1 by 20 minus this is a 3 amperes of current which is entering into the node that is minus 3 amperes is equals to zero. Now what we have here V1 minus 25 by 5 plus V1 by 20. Now by solving this one, how to solve this one? V1 minus 25 by 5 plus V1 by 20 is equals to 3. Is equals to 3. Now from this, I'll take LCM as twenty, so I'll take LCM as twenty. What you'll get? Four V one minus hundred plus V one is equals to three. Now this is five four V one plus one V one five V one minus hundred is equals to twenty three ja sixty. Now this is five V one is equals to. If you bring hundred into other side, I'll get one sixty. So V one is equals to one sixty by fifteen. How much one sixty by fifteen will get? Thirty two volts. This is will get V one is equals to thirty two volts. Now we need to calculate R T H. So to calculate the R T H. What we need to do, we need to short circuit all the voltage sources as well as we need to open circuit all the current sources. Now, to calculate R T H. So to calculate R T H, this is my voltage source. I am making as a short. Now this is my five ohms, okay, and this is my twenty ohms, okay. Again here we have a short circuit point, so this is again four ohms. This is my terminal A, and this is we have here the current source is open circuit directly. I take it as a B point. So now this is my four ohms. Okay, this is twenty ohms. This is five ohms. Now we need to calculate the R E V. So this is source side. If I apply the current, this current is dividing into two parts. 
So once the current division has been takes place, then we can conclude that these two are connected in series. Sorry, parallel and other one is in series. So finally, R T H will get four plus these two are in parallel. So when they are in parallel, five into twenty by five plus twenty. So this is four plus five into twenty. Will get hundred divided by five plus twenty. Will get twenty five. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five four hundred. So finally, I'll get eight. So oh, else, I'll write like this. So this is how much? This I'll take it as four plus four. Common together, I'll get eight ohms as your R T H. So in the circuit, what he has asked? He has asked us about to draw the RTH circuit. So now we have calculated VTH and RTH. The finalized circuit for V Thevenin's theorem here, VTH and RTH, is voltage source in series with resistance across. These are the open circuit terminal A and B. So VTH, how much we got? This is 32 volts in series with 8 ohms. This is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit of our problem. 